It is the RetroTech 120p challenge. Hello to you. And the main challenge this week is who can say the name of this game the worst. I'm going to go for Baluba Luik no Densetsu, which I think is pretty accurate. Um, this is the RetroTech 120p challenge. The idea is, is that you... Um, see how far you can get on two credits basically um, you can have as many goes as you like and once you decide I'm going to press that record button you have to go and submit that and say that's what I submitted I'm sorry it's so shit but what I've done this week is I've played it <laughs> once to get the feel, for, feel of it and uh, I've gone for it and a very obscure game it is too well done Christian you found one that's very strange indeed um, it is a um, kind of a, I don't know, a cross between Bubble Bubble and Pac-Man in many respects, because you got that, you see those little coloured balls there, they uh, represent the little, I don't even know what they are, they're like ghost dinosaurs, I don't know, um, wizards, those little things there running about after you, so you have to avoid them, you have to collect those treasure bits, you can jump on the bombs and it sets them off, so it's a bit bomb jacky as well. Um, but uh, and obviously when they go yellow there where you collect the power pill you can um, run into them and um, they can't hurt you so that's good isn't it so again another Pac-Man link it's a sort of a smorgasbord of early arcade hits this one not bad um, it's by Abel Corp who uh, according to my research which is always very light I must admit um, only had one game which was this uh, and it came out um I think in 1986, um, but my research was going on to Arcade Museum, which is a little bit more um, in-depth than Wikipedia generally. So there you go, I've made an effort and gone to a slightly different website. Um, it was uh, translates as Legend of Balu Balubu Luke, so that's so easy to say, even though I stumbled over it because I'm an idiot. Um, and basically the idea is you explore the dungeons, get the treasure, avoid the beasts, and... Um, make a nuisance of yourself underground basically it is um it had a sequel believe it or not that wasn't by uh the Obel corp it was by uh vic tokai and it was on the commodore 64 and the n64 uh, and the n64 no it wasn't it was on the famicom and the commodore 64 um and it was called ahigna no yogin and it was uh yeah it was it came out on the Famicom rather than the um, NES. It did They did plan to release it on the NES in 1988. Um, Vic Tokai did, but in the end they didn't. And uh, But it did come out on the Commodore 64 thanks to software creation. So you might find that somewhere. Um, that looks like a very exasperated wolf in the top there. But I'm not doing wolves this week in my genital facts of the week. Because the next dungeon, which I get to... Um, and I'm happy I got to it because I didn't want to do wolves because it's just a bit like dogs. Look, there's an elk. So my genital fact of the week will consist of facts about dear penises. Dear penis, I'm writing to tell you I'm going to be talking about you. Dear penis is said to have been of very therapeutic properties in China and Vietnam. I died, lost my first credit there. I literally just got as far as that to die so I could talk about deer penis. Um, the Taiwanese believe that if you consume deer penis while pregnant, it will make the mother fatter and therefore the baby stronger. I mean, if you eat enough penis, I'm sure it does make you fatter. You have to look at certain counts, as they fly. Um, Hippocrates... Not to be confused with hypocrites. Of course, it was a Greek physician of the 4th century BC. And he swore blind that deer penis would help resolve any sexual difficulties. Well, you say that, I don't think the deer would agree. I think having its penis eaten probably makes a lot more sexual difficulties for it. Um, during the Olympics in 2008, China banned deer penis wine. That's it, deer penis wine. Um, because um, it uh, was felt to enhance the strength of their athletes and therefore it joined steroids as a banned supplement. So don't go out in the Olympic Village, maybe even this year, uh, expecting you're going to get a nice glass full of dear penis wine, everybody. Dear penis wine, it's worth saying again. Mayans were known to eat roast penis. I mean, it's the best way to cook penis, isn't it? I don't know. Um, and um, what's the last fact I've got for you about um, deer penises? Well, the elk 
Well, they're known um, to cover themselves in piss because this makes them more attractive to lady deer. Um, and it works as well because some uh, elks have uh, harems of 20 cows in them. So the next time you're in a pub and you're chatting a girl up um, and you go to the toilet and a little droplet of piss just kind of soaks your, your, your beige chinos or whatever, don't feel too upset. You can end up leaving that pub with 20 ladies. Um, you never know. It could work. Just piss all over your trousers. Basically, take your trousers off, stuff them in the urinal, urinate on them, go out. They'll be all over you. That's my top sexual tip of the day. And um, what a great way to round out this latest es- escapade where I'm the second person playing and already Sean's done better than me. So I'm not winning this week. Um, but uh, that's OK because you can't win every week. You can win some weeks unless you're uh, Chris Diamond, in which case you will win nearly every week. And uh, my advice to you is be more like him. I've still got another life. <laughs> I thought I was dead. So I've got to uh, stretch this out even further. Uh, don't worry, it won't last long. That exasperated wolf at the top there is how I'm going to look in a minute when I collide with one of these strange wizard chaps. There you go. I'm dead. That's the end of that. All fantastic fun. Great suggestion, Christian. What a nice game that was. Um, please pay attention to uh, the group because you can join in and you never know you might get to get some of this uh, retro tech 120p action in yourself if you follow the link down the bottom there Um, but for today k thanks and bye